Dear viewers, today we are trying to estimate the volume of the common part of two equal cylinders. The axes of both the cylinders are located in the same plane, passing through the same point at a variable angle. To solve this problem, we will use GENMA Interactive Geometry Program and part solid volume estimation with the use of Cavalieri's principle in Jean Ma Advanced Geometry Textbook. Let's use Jean Ma program. We enter its menu, choose the manual, choose Volume Estimation with the use of Cavalieri principle section, and finally choose Two Cylinders Intersection file. Here it is. Well, in this image we can see what an intersection of two cylinders means. We can move this configuration, change its radius, and so on. Notice we will have to use the tools that allow us moving the solids. Now we can move the point, thus changing the volume, length, radius, that's it. You know that normally, when solving the problem, students draw the intersection curves. We have already got rid of a part of the yellow cylinder, so that we have two intersection curves. The intersection curves represent the solution of the following set of equations. But the question is how to program that. We get into General Properties, click on the intersection curve, and the expression appears. Here we get the formula expression being a solution of the equation set you see on the screen. Match the expression and the equation, and you'll see that it's true. Now we get back to Move Toolbar. We can see the solid, which has already been cut out and ready to be transformed. To transform it, we can change the X intersection angle. Notice that if the axes are parallel, the solid turns into a cylinder. But if the axes are perpendicular, the solid looks like a pillow. Now. We will observe its section by a plane parallel to the axis. The plane can be moved at a point. And that's the time to remind you what cavalry principle states. Well, cavalry principle that states the following. Suppose two solids are included between two parallel planes. If every plane parallel to these two planes intersects both solids in cross-sections of constant ratio equal to k, then the ratio of the volumes of these two solids is equal to k. Now you see the cross-section of the solid by the plane parallel to the axis represents a rhombus. Let's try to inscribe a sphere of R radius into the solid of intersection. We see that each cross-section, being a rhombus, contains the curve of intersection with the sphere, which is an inscribed circle.
Here you see the formula how the volume of the solid common to the intersecting cylinders can be estimated. Dear viewers, thank you for your kind attention. We hope that the use of GeneMap program will give you an additional opportunity of learning geometry. Goodbye.